Tiwari, let me begin by asking you, Ghansham Tiwari, if information is coming in that several of your leaders haven't joined that official dinner, what should one make of it, sir? Good evening, Gaurav, to you, my fellow co-panelists and the viewers. I see a joy in BJP and those who support BJP, the same kind of joy when Anil Masih stole an election in front of the camera. That treachery and treason and thug thuggery is celebrated as a political strategy is what BJP has given to India. So BJP in every election is an opportunity to, to make another dent to the democratic polity of India, where you, you speak about the number of candidates that BJP is put up. How many candidates are traditional BJP? Your treasury and thuggery starts by bringing uh, candidates from other parties. Then you expect that with, with news leaks, by carefully wording that Sutro se khabar aa rahi hai, Samajwadi party mein tension hai, by thus these unofficial, and I can categorically say whatever your reporter said, Ashutosh is wrong, blatantly okay. wrong. This unofficial news leaks, by this, you want to communicate that there is uh, there is some merit in what BJP is doing. There is no Sir, merit. Treachery and thuggery has no merit. You, you may accuse the BJP of whatever you may want to accuse them of. Never, ever accuse an India Today reporter who will only bring you facts on ground, sir. That's completely uncalled for. But Tuhin Sinha, respond to allegations that are being made that this is treachery and thuggery by the BJP because... You have enough numbers to get seven elected. You fielded an eighth candidate. Will this not lead to horse trading? Because 288 votes required, uh, with 288 votes, your requirement uh, is 37 per candidate. Seven, you can get elected to Rajya Sabha very easily. You fielded the eighth well, one. Good evening. Good evening, Gaurav. Good evening, everybody. You know, there is clearly a trust deficit between Samajwadi Party top leadership and its MLAs. And that is very clearly showing, you know, a similar trust deficit has existed in recent months between the Congress top leadership and its MLAs. You know, why don't our ever, you know, why don't our MLAs ever disappear? Fact is that this opposition is crumbling and the MLAs don't see a future with their with Samajwadi Party or the Congress Party. So some of them in due course of time might be moving this side. Now, if in this situation they they vote differently from the from the you know diktat given by the parties, why are we to blame for it? I think it's very simple. Two months, two nearly two years ago in Maharashtra, there was a similar situation. Theoretically, we were in a position to win two Rajya Sabha seats. We ended up winning the third because Uddhav's Shiv Sena was on the verge of a collapse, and obviously many members voted for it. So I think, you know, Samajwadi Party and Congress Party need to work on their strategies. They need to work on a vision because without vision, most of their MLAs feel suffocated. Okay. They realize they don't have a future with their respective parties. Let me take this to Amitabh Tiwari because few people understand what's happening on ground and number crunch better than Amitabh. And Amitabh, I want to understand from you, conscience voting, horse trading uh, with Yogi Adityanath's dinner tonight, uh, voting classes that were underway earlier today. And this information that's just come in. Now, is, are these mind games that are being played or does the BJP have the numbers when it comes to Uttar Pradesh? It's a, it's a mixture of all. It's a mixture of mind game plus conscious voting plus horse trading. We've seen it all in, in the earlier Raj Sabha elections as well. Uh, the election commission says that parties cannot issue a whip for uh, Raj Sabha. Sabha. It's a conscious vote. However, due to the shift of RLD from the uh, Mahagadbandan or the India Bloc and the SBSP to the NDA side, what has happened is that the Samajwadi party numbers are very tight for this. You need 37 uh, MLA support, first reference votes, and the party along with the Congress currently has 110. So it's short of one member actually, and that has what is made the contest fairly interesting because Raja Bhaiya's party has also... Uh, alleged their support to the BJP. Yes. So the numbers are very tight and due to the exodus of two crucial allies from the Samajwadi party fold, the contest has become very interesting and here in the BJP sees a chance to get their eighth candidate win. Mind you, if, if, if the Samajwadi party's third candidate is not able to get 37 first preference votes, and if the BJP's person also is not able to get that, then the contest moves to the second, second preference. preference. 
wherein the BJP has the higher numbers because it has 252 uh, vis-a-vis uh, 108. So we'll have to see how this pans out. However, if if Samajwadi Party does not is not able to, I mean, win for any reason, then it it's it it would be seen as a setback before the Lok Sabha elections because it would also reflect upon the leadership and the authority of Akhilesh Yadavji uh, on his MLAs uh, before a, a very 